This is Wild Chronicles. Our oceans are alive with sound. Sound that most of us never hear. But there's one man who's definitely listening hard. John Callum Bokita studies blue whales as the senior research biologist at the nonprofit group Cascadia Research. Their size, of course, captivated me, but as a scientist, what really interested me was the mystery about them. Relatively little was known about them, and there were just tons of unanswered questions. Humans brought this behemoth to the edge of extinction. Whalers in the last century took the blue whale population from more than 300,000, perhaps less than 10,000 today. Since so few survive, it's not always easy for researchers to find them. And blues are one of the planet's most solitary animals. But during the summer, the waters off the central coast of California are a good place to check. Blue whales travel there to feed in the largest underwater gorge on the west coast. The water is rich with krill, tiny shrimp-like creatures in red swarms that can stretch for miles in every direction. It's here that John wants to eavesdrop. The blue whales in the eastern North Pacific off the California coast make two primary types of calls. You know, one's this very pulsive uh, call. Mm -hmm. This rhythmic throbbing drumbeat is the A call. And another is a more constant call that, you know, kind of a low moan that drops slightly in frequency. In fact, the B calls blast at such low frequency, our human ears barely register the sound. The special eyes and ears that will allow John to drop in on the whales are provided by CritterCam, a technology developed by National Geographic biologists and engineers. CritterCam has hopped a ride on all kinds of wild creatures. The first attempt is made almost 30 miles out to sea off Monterey, California. Some whales have a very strong odor, others don't. You can be riding along in the boat and get a little whiff of rotten, processed, uh, krill type smell. <laughs> and then you know to turn upwind and track up there, and half a dozen times we've had success that way. John and the Critter Camp crew spot their first target. Man, they're so big! Ah, sorry. It's not working. Part of the problem is that whales continually slough off their skin. And the crew thinks maybe that's why the suction cups are failing. It's a frustrating time. I think you're writing things off prematurely. I'm frustrated. I That's never ever thought frustrated. you were a quitter. <laughs> John Kalamakitas is never a quitter. Another day, another location. This time, further south, off the coast in Santa Barbara. The Critter Camp team deploys on another blue whale. Hey, I look so good. Suction cup is on. What the footage reveals is a deep water dive, nearly a thousand feet down, in the search for a swarm of krill. stationary. Yet another critter cam picks up a faint drum beat, just what John has been waiting for. Do you hear that? 
It is the unmistakable beat of a blue whale's A call. As a shape emerges from the darkness, another blue whale. The team discovers that perhaps this solitary giant isn't so isolated after all. The calls may not be about food, but may be about companionship instead. It's really neat to see that we have one of the things we've been really hoping to get, which is some underwater footage during a call. I'm excited, I'm tantalized, I'm, I'm wanting more. 